today we are making one of the tastiest cake recipe we are going to make it with a blender and bake it without an oven very simple to make for my ingredients i'm going to need oil the oil is of your choice i'm also going to need sugar for this recipe the measurement is in the description i'll also use vanilla essence baking powder and salt i will also need eggs and milk and of course we are going to use cake flour if you have all-purpose flour you are good to use it first of all we are going to mix our dry ingredients we are going to combine the cake flour the baking powder the salt we are going to mix it well and set it aside for the wet ingredients we are going to work with a blender we'll first pour our oil in a blender after pouring our oil in the blender we are going to add our sugar after adding the sugar we are going to pour in our milk after we've added the milk we'll proceed to add our vanilla essence we're going to use two tablespoons of vanilla essence and don't forget we cracked our four eggs into the mixture we are going to give this mixture a quick blend After we've blended it for 2 minutes, we then pour it into a bowl. This is going to be the base for our cake and look at how thick it is. It isn't supposed to be watery, otherwise our cake will be very moist. So after, we gradually add our cake flour into the mixture and then combine it well with our spatula. By folding in the cake flour or mixing the cake flour into the mixture, we are going to use a spatula to break all the lumps to get a very smooth batter for our cake. So after getting a very smooth batter, we then proceed to the next phase. But before that, we oil our cake pan and flour it to allow our cake to remove easily after baking. And please, when you are doing this, don't overwork your batter, otherwise your cake will be very tough. For my cake, I had a very fluffy, I had the fluffiest cake. Cutting it or slicing it was very easy. And here is my cake tin. I have oiled and flat and added my butter. The next phase is to bake. We are going to bake it on our stove using our saucepan salt. We are going to put our cake into the saucepan and cover it very well. Lower the fire and then allow it to bake for 15 to 30 minutes. It mostly depends on the quantity of cake you are baking. So the time is not fixed. This is my quantity and it took about... 40 to 50 minutes to bake at this point you can see it is in the process of rising and it hasn't finished rising yet and now this phase the cake is ready but it isn't well cooked so i inserted a stick into the cake to find out if it was well cooked and it came out wet you could see particles of cake on the stick so we had to cover it and then come back later and after some few minutes our cake was ready we now inserted the stick again and it came out clean this tells you that your cake is ready after the cake is ready we don't leave it on fire we quickly remove it from our baking tin and then proceed to slice it we slice it before it cools down because we want that fluffiest creamy buttery cake hot cake what is better than eating a very fresh cake it is very refreshing so this is how my cake looks like very soft it is very easy to make and it's very soft and the taste is on another level see the taste on the first day of baking is even less than the following day the taste elevated to another level and you can see it came out very well the mixture and the ingredients were uniform and it was awesome this is how many slices we had for the quantity of cake i baked everybody enjoyed it we all liked it it was not too sugary not too milky not too oily everything was perfect thank you so much for watching don't forget to watch my other videos on my donut my shortbread recipe i really love this cake because it is very quick and easy to make with minimal time and it is very delicious don't forget to like this video and share to friends and family and if you are new thanks for joining i love you all don't forget to share and like this video until next time stay blessed